Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing today? Happy Halloween or happy Halloween month because it is October 1st and we are now counting down the days to Halloween. And if you didn't watch uh, my video from yesterday, I announced a group project over here. And the group project is that um, we are all going to watch all of the Halloween movies starting today, okay, three a week, until we finish all 13 of the Halloween franchise movies. Okay, we're going to watch the Rob Zombie ones. We're even going to watch Halloween 3. So go over and check my video out from yesterday. It's going to be a fun little group project. I have these clogs on today. I love these gray felt Birkenstock clogs that I got. And I thought they would look like matchy-matchy with my, my shirt. But um, they're a little hot, so I gotta take them off. It's like 80 degrees in Indianapolis. So it's, it's a nice day to, uh, uh, best part of waking up <clears throat> is Boo Radley in my bed. Because I love my little doggy Boo Radley so much. But anyway, um, it's a nice way to start October, but I'm also kind of ready for the cooler weather a little bit. So, we went to brunch today. I had a wonderful brunch. I haven't been as hungry lately when we've been going to brunch. I used to get this omelet called the California Dreamer that has like avocado and egg whites and all this kind of stuff in it, right? And then I sometimes would get potatoes on the side and an everything bagel to toast it with melted butter and then I, uh, with uh, cream cheese on the side and then I would also get coffee. I still always do get coffee. This is caramel. Well, actually, this is the Patachu blend, but I had caramel while I was there. This is my take-home cup. So, anyway, I haven't been as hungry when we go to brunch lately. So, I've been getting, like, either a cup or a bowl of their tomato artichoke soup, which is mm, chef's kiss. It's, like, the best in the entire world. But, I was really excited today because last week when we went, they, like, they introduced seasonal stuff. Like, my husband loves their turkey chili, and so they just brought the turkey chili back last week. It's, like, his favorite thing on the entire menu. Even more, he loves the Cuban, which is like rice and black beans and stuff like that. That's what he always gets. Well, the other day with his friend, he got avocado toast, but that's beside the point. So anyway, um, but they always have like seasonal stuff. And so last week, they had apple cider donuts. These donuts were like huge, right? And then they had um, pumpkin bread, and it was so fantastic. Oh my God, so I was so excited to get a little bowl of soup today and some pumpkin bread. Well, they didn't have the pumpkin bread, they were out of it. They were sold out of the apple cider donuts. And so I was like, well, I guess I'll have a croissant. <laughs> First world problems, right? Like, and the croissant was delicious. But I was so wanting one of the apple cider donuts or the pumpkin bread. But anyway, so my husband afterwards, he was like, do you need to go anywhere and run to get anything for the week? And I was like, yeah. I was like, actually, can you run me by Fresh Time real quick so I can get some coffee? So I went to Fresh Time. Where's my coffee? I have all these bags. Hold on a second. And I have to be very careful with these bags. Very careful with these bags, okay? Because it's very fragile stuff in here, okay? Don't be messing with my bags. Because <laughs> it's very fragile stuff. Okay. So, I went in there to get coffee for this week. So, I got... I actually wanted some of the medium roast sweetened. Because that's like my new favorite. They only had one bottle of the medium roast sweetened. So, I got this bottle of medium roast sweetened. I actually have another bottle of Starbucks. And I thought I had like three left. But I only have one. So, the, I've got three now. So, and then I got a medium roast unsweetened coffee, okay? And so that was what I ran in for. It was so funny because Alex parked like right in front. There was like a spot right in front where he dropped me off because he didn't need anything. And so I got, well, we were like pulled up, like the windows of our car were down, right? And so um, I was like, um, I was like, do you smell that? And he was like, yeah. He, I was like, it totally, like this whole parking lot smells like pumpkin spice, right? And he was like, yeah, it does. It's crazy. Now I have to tell you, my husband does not love pumpkin spice. He doesn't love the flavor. He doesn't like the smell of it and all that kind of stuff, right? But I do. I love it so much. I'm like, where is that smell coming? I mean, literally the whole parking lot smelled like pumpkin spice. I'm like, where is that smell coming from? So I go inside and they have like, do you guys know those pine cones that they sell at Christmas time that smell like cinnamon and things like that? They have those. But they're like huge pine cones. There's like a bag of them, right? They're huge pine cones that you can like set around your house, you know, for like kind of like potpourri kind of deal. But they smell like pumpkin spice. They smell so good, okay? But I didn't get any because Alex, I'm like, what am I going to do? Put them out here, you know? I've got three candles going right here. This is the one I started yesterday. This is the cedar, or two days ago, cedar wood, and it's like almost already gone. Because these candles are burning like for, I don't know, like six to ten hours a night while I'm watching shows, right? 
Okay, so when I went in there, now they had this huge, like, kind of like uh, cardboard kiosk that had ghosts and pumpkins and stuff over. I was like, what is this in Halloween surprises that I love so much, right? My husband was so sweet because he knows I'm so excited about Halloween. He was playing like all this, like, oh, 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 you know, like EDM DJ music on the way home. And he goes, here, I got a song for you to play. And he played the Monster Mash. It was a mesh. It was a monster mash, and it made me so happy. I was like, oh my god, oh my god, it's Halloween, I'm so excited. So anyway, so um, I walk in there, and I'm like, oh my god, what in all the Halloween surprises is this kiosk, right? And I see that they have, like, all these soaps and lotions and stuff, and I'm like, this is the stuff that they had over, because, so Fresh Time has, like, a whole, like, uh, supplement area that has, like, lotions, shampoos, it's like, you know, that, but it also has, like, tons of vitamins and protein powders and things like that, but that was where I had found, like, the Autumn Harvest soap, the lo pumpkin spice lotion, all that kind of stuff. Well, it was the same stuff on this thing, and I was like, Ugh. but it was four sides. Always thinking, right? So... Because I'm the shopper of the world. So I like go to the next one. I'm like, oh my god, they got all these candles over here. And I just bought a whole bunch of candles. I probably need more candles, don't you think? And then I turn the, the corner around to the third side of it, right? Because, you know, four sides, like I said, always thinking. <laughs> you got to keep on thinking. Keep on your toes when you're with Peter Mott. I know, like, I say the most simple thing in the entire world. I'm like, I like, you know, like, have this idea. I'm like, oh my god, like, there's four sides. There's probably other things in there. My friends look at me like I'm the biggest idiot in the world. <laughs> do you ever do that? Feel like that with your friends? I do. So anyway, so I go, oh, okay, so I'm like looking at this and there's, there's like, they have paper napkins and they have like, you know, all this kind of stuff and little figurines on the other side. And so I go around the other side and I'm like, oh my lord, they got more candles and soaps and things and everything over here. So, I bought some of that, and then I was like, well, I better try uh, go check out some of the pumpkin spice stuff, because Lord knows the people are probably waiting for another pumpkin spice video. But, I mean, I've only done, you know, five at this point. That, and literally, I'm not even exaggerating, I've done five pumpkin spice reviews at this point. So anyway, but I will tell you this, one thing, just so y'all know, um, the Dude Wipes Dumpkin Spice, like, we have... <laughs> We have literally, and not ripped farts, we have literally ripped right through those things. I even use them to wash my hands because they smell so good. Because they're like faintly, they kind of smell like, they're dumpkin spice. Because it's like, get it, right? Okay. But they're supposed to, um, they're supposed to like smell like pumpkin spice. But they do, but they also smell very clean. I don't know how to explain it. Um, I, that's probably one of the main two. I'm getting ready to get on Amazon because we're on our final container or pack of that. So I'm getting ready to get on Amazon and order some more of those. So the Dude's Wipes, Dumpkin Spice. I should be linking all this stuff in an Amazon store. But see, listen, I'd rather just share it with you guys. You guys go buy it. Find it wherever you can. Okay, I don't need to make no point off that kind of stuff. But it's kind of stupid of me, isn't it? <laughs> In all honesty, listen, I think these people, they complain so much about, oh, my job is so hard. I'm, I don't have no time to make a video and edit it. Now, what you really don't have time for is to link your 400 affiliate links and, and not disclose it. See, I'd rather just talk to the people and share with you guys what I found and what I like and what I don't like, okay? I don't need to link everything to make a coin off of it. It's ridiculous to me. So, anyway, then I got these sugar cookies because my husband loves sugar cookies. I was telling him in the car, I was like, yeah, and I, I'm going to do this review because I'm going to do the review of them after this. Sit right here, I'm gonna turn it off, turn it right back on, do the review. And I said, I bought these sugar cookies for you, these pumpkin sugar cookies, and he goes, pumpkin spice? Because he knows, I, I know he doesn't like pumpkin spice. I go, no, they're pumpkin flavored sugar, or they're pumpkin, look like pumpkin sugar cookies, because he loves sugar cookies, right? And he's like, oh, he loves, his favorite are like the store-bought, he, dummy bacon to homemade sugar cookies for my husband, okay? He likes the store-bought sugar cookies. That's like his favorite. So I got some of those. So let's get in here and show you guys. I have one candle. That, oh, let's just show it first. I have one candle that I am so excited about. Now I had to wrap this stuff so special and stuff. Well, here, actually, let's go through these first. So they have these soaps. Hold on a second. That I thought were really cool. <coughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Okay, because some of you said bless you out there, and that was so kind. I heard you through the screen. Okay, so they have these little soaps, right? Now, this one is, they're called Pacha Soap Company. I don't know anything about it. P-A-C-H-A -A, Soap Company, and this one is Pumpkin Spice, and I got it because it's Pumpkin Spice, right, But and everything nice, but this is not my favorite. Actually, my favorite is this one that I got that's chai. I don't know how much these were. Here, hold on a second. I have... Trader Joe's is pretty inexpensive. I have the whole thing right here. Okay, so these were $4.99. I think that's kind of a little expensive for these, right? But this one is golden chai. Oh my god, it smells so good. 
I forgot that I had these Bath and Body Works shower gels and lotions and last night my husband was out for the night and I was like wanting to put my pajamas on you know my little shorty pajamas with the you know but anyway and, and feel very like comfortable and then sit out here and drink some hot coffee my pumpkin spice hot coffee from Starbucks by the way and watch some Real Housewives of Miami and so like, I took a shower and I used the pumpkin spice shower gel and then I lotioned up with the pumpkin spice lotion that I forgot that I had from Bath and Body Works I mean it's like a year old but I don't care people can be like oh my god that's expired I don't care Fuck it, I don't care. So anyway, I'm so excited about these soaps because then I can use those and smell so good. Okay, so then the next thing, oh, this is the thing that I was so excited about buying. This is like my favorite, okay? Because when I saw it, they had them in every color. Do you see it's this little pumpkin thing? I know most of you are like, oh, we know what that is already, right? Well, I didn't because I'm stupid. I thought, is that a casserole dish? <laughs> and then I opened it and I was like, it's a candle! It smells like maple. It's a candle. I can't believe it, right? Oh my god, it's pumpkin spice, and I'm gonna put it right out here. Isn't that so cute? Oh my god, I love it. And this was like $16.99, so it wasn't super cheap, right? But I had to have it. Okay. Then they had these little tin jar. These are the ones, kind. they're, they're similar to the ones that I get at Trader Joe's, but they're different kind of tins. Do you see them? And I actually think they were more expensive. Hold on a second. Let me see. I, I mean, I think they're cute, but this is like the perfect size for out here, because these will burn through in about three or four days. So, I think they're actually more expensive than, um, hold on a second, they can't be that much. Where, where are they? Traveler, pumpkin, are they called Travelers? No, they're Root. Where is this? Traveler, Spiced, oh, these cannot be $10. Did I really pay $10 for this? Traveler, Mold Cider, I paid what? $11.69? I paid $11.69 for these each. Okay, and I just said that Trader Joe's was really inexpensive. That's bullshit. I feel like I got so screwed because I'm so stupid. I got so excited. See, I'm like that kid on Christmas. I got so excited that I just started putting all this stuff in my basket. I was like, I can't wait to sh share this with everybody. I wonder why the whole thing was like $100. I was like, damn, I came in here for coffee. It's like when I used to go to Target back in the day or the Meyer for deodorant, <laughs> you know, and I'd come out $100 poorer. Because me and my good Judy Tawny Jean would buy books in the book section and, and things to make friendship bracelets and all kinds of bullshit. I still got that thing to make friendship bracelets. I looms, you know, latch, latch hook sets, you know, for pillows that have the ho little horses out in the wild. I got all that shit sitting in there because we'd always go to the Meyer late at night and I'd think, oh, I'm going to be the craftsman of the world and watch all these movies. I buy movies on DVR there. Movies I've never even opened to this day. I mean, it's ridiculous, right? Well, let's smell these $11.69 candles that you don't get hardly anything for. This one right here is Spice Orchid. Or Orchid. <laughs> this one right here is Spice or Orchard. I mean, it smells good. It smells like apple cider, kind of. I mean, it's not the best in the entire world, but it's okay. This one's Mold Cider. Can you tell I'm so thrown out that I paid $11.69 for these when at Trader Joe's or for $4.99 each? I'm over it. Oh, this one smells real good. She's staying out here. Okay. You're staying out here, mold cider. Okay, put those over there. And then this one is pumpkin spice. I literally have, like, at this point, like 15 pumpkin spice candles. That don't even smell good. That smells like... There was like a pumpkin spice plant and like somebody took a, put a turd on it. <laughs> a boring turd. Oh well, I mean you can't win them all, right? Okay, so I'm not happy about all that. So let's put these soaps. I don't know when I have to put that pumpkin. I think I'm going to wait until closer to Halloween so I'll go through that pumpkin real quick. Alright, so then these are the other candles that I bought. Now I like little candles for out here, okay? So when I first looked at these candles, they only have these big ones right here. But look, don't they look so chic? These were $14.99. I don't even have to look on that. I know that, right? So these were $14.99, and the smaller ones, I think, were like $8.99 or $6.99. So they, so they have these two different sizes. Do you see? Okay. So this one is Patchouli Woods. Now, they didn't have this one in the small size, or I would have bought it in the small size. So this one uh, hardly has any smell at all. <laughs> it really doesn't. I mean, you gotta really put your nose in there to smell the patchouli, but hardly. I mean, my mother, she loved patchouli oil, right? So, um, I was like, should I tell her, should I not? This? She wanted to be buried with patchouli oil, and the funeral home wouldn't let us open the bottle and put it on there, so literally they just stuck the bottle beside her, because my mom was such a hippie back in the day that she wanted to be buried with patchouli oil. And 
a flower garland of daisies in her hair because she had this little book of these little girls praying that she had had from the 1940s and they were like in a circle with flower garlands in her hair. And I went to the florist shop and they sure, sure enough made my mother uh, a flower garland with daisies for her hair. I, was, I, I couldn't believe it. They did a fantastic job. They were so nice. And oh, by the way, and my mother was also buried in a dress that she, it was like this black dress with wooden beads on it that she had bought in the Haight Ashbury in the 60s. So, a little side note for y'all there. Um, I think that we should send people off the way that they choose to be, chose to be sent off. You know, I think we should send people off the way that they chose to live their life. And my mom had very specific instructions of how she wanted that to be. It always pisses me off when I see that somebody chose to live their life this way or they wanted to be buried in a t-shirt versus a suit or whatever and their family goes against it. Like, that's like, why are you even having the funeral then? I mean, why are we getting so deep in this video, first of all, okay? But why are you even having the funeral then if you're going to go against the, the respect and the well wishes of that person? Like, don't even have the funeral then, okay? Because it's not respect. And the whole reason of having a funeral and a celebration of life is to remember that person. Like, that always pisses me off. If somebody asks you that this is how they want to go when they die, that's exactly how you should send them off, is how I feel about it. Not to mention that my mom told me before she died, she said, do not get attached to my body because I am just a bag of soul. And the moment that I'm gone, I am gone. That is not that is not me anymore, right? So people get so ate up with all that kind of stuff. Then why don't you just let them go the way that they want to go? It's so rude. Anyway, let's get to these candles, right? So this is... <gasps> there was blueberry too! I didn't get the blueberry! This one is spiced elderberry. But aren't these little glass containers so cute? These little candles? I think they're so cute. People always tell me afterwards, they're like, you could use those afterwards and you could like put jewelry and stuff in them. I mean, I do think that's a nice idea. Okay, we've got enough crap sitting around already. My husband didn't even want me to get more candles. Okay, and what am I going to do? Dig this out with a spoon when it's done? I mean, do y'all see how the... Look at these candles I have over here. These are almost done, right? I'm not digging all that stuff out. It's not, no, for jewelry cases. <laughs> I'll just get on Amazon and buy one for $10. Okay, none of these smell that great. And then this last one is, did I even smell that one? I don't remember if I did. Yeah, they don't, any of them smell that great. They don't hardly smell at all. And this one is tobacco and amber. I usually love everything. Did I say Trader Joe's? I meant Fresh Time. I usually love everything from Fresh Time. This one smells, but it don't smell good. Oh, it smells like real cheap perfume. Oh, I don't like that at all. It smells like musky perfume. My mom had this, somebody she knew for years. I don't know if I would call her a friend of my mom's, but she wore that Avon musk for years. That's what that reminds me of. If you wear it, hey, I hope it smells better on you than it did on my mom's front because it didn't smell good on her. <laughs> Listen, she did now, but so <laughs> she did. She died. So listen, she passed on. Okay, she's in greener pastures now, right? So it don't really matter. <laughs> she probably did get the. Her family was nice, so she probably did get married with that Avon mask. She probably carried it to the other side with her. People are probably over there to this day being like, "Whoo! I wish you hadn't been married with that Avon mask." See, I just had kind of a full cir uh, circle moment with all that. Okay. So now let's get into these sugar cookies. Sugar. <laughs> sugar. Uh, 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 honey, honey. Okay, so I bought these three sugar cookies. Now, I know that they look cheap as hell, but these are the kind that my husband absolutely loves, okay? So this one is called the Loft House. I think this is actually the brand that he gets, which is called Loft House. These Loft House Halloween sugar cookies, okay? So these are all pumpkins. Do you see them? They're like pump, they're like purple, and I'll show them to you in a second. Then I got these, and these are jack-o'-lantern sugar cookies, okay? And these are by Cookie Crush Gourmet Bakery. But his favorite, I don't know why, <laughs> okay? Like, I don't really like these. He loves these. And these are the Loft House. Oh, I think these are the exact ones he gets. Yeah, because they're Loft House. And they're these real cheap-looking sugar cookies, okay? So I'm going to do a little review of that over my review channel of those three. Of course, I'll tell this story. Oh, do you see? They're like purple. Stuff they're cute. But anyway, these were not too expensive. I'll tell you how much these cookies were. Watch, I'll look on here and I'll be like, they were like $7.99 or something, $7.69 or something. Let's look at these cookies and see. Okay, bakery. $4.99, $4.99, $4.99. I don't think that's too bad for these cookies. I mean, it's kind of what you pay at any grocery store, right? Let's look and see what the cheapest thing was on here. The cheapest thing on here out of the soaps and everything. Is my coffee not even on here? Oh, my coffee was $6.49. The cheapest thing on here was the bars of soap, and they were $4.49. I think, I feel like Fresh Time has gotten a little bit more expensive lately. My total discounts of being a Fresh Time saver were $8.20. Anyway, let me know what you think about all that in the comment section below. Welcome to my little cozy 
Halloween haul. And I love you guys so much. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.